I just thought I should quickly record this video when I had my other cat on my lap. But this one's very scratchy. By the way, this here is Miso, and she's really ouch. <laughs> she's scratchy, and she doesn't care about hurting people when she's sitting on the laps. But that's her for you. That's Miso for you. Try Miso. You don't care about hurting me, do you? What is up, people? Time for my daily grind. Um, this time we have a bunch of videos on how to lose belly fat. Let's watch the first one. Three spices that will melt fat in your body like that. Number one, curcumin, known to lower inflammation. Because all of us have high stress, cortisol stores fat. Curcumin lowers the stress in our body. Number two. Okay, let's talk about curcumin. I didn't know about this until I read a bunch of tweets from the liver dog. Apparently, curcumin, the active compound in turmeric. Turmeric should not be called curcumin. Uh, I think turmeric is only 5% curcumin. Its bioavailability, however, is only 1%, which means if you eat 100 grams of turmeric, only 1 gram of curcumin is absorbed in the body. So uh, the amount of turmeric you need to eat to have any significant effect of curcumin in your body would be like, you know, the weight of an infant. You can almost say that turmeric doesn't have any significant medical effect. I'll talk about exactly what he's saying. I'll talk about fat loss at the end. Let's see what else he's saying. Cinnamon contains cinnamon aldehyde. Research has shown it burns up to 4-5% to of abdominal fat. So it's great for burning those resistant love handles. And number three, capsicum for cayenne pepper is known to attack your TRPV1 receptor which generates heat in the body, thus raising your metabolism, helping you burn more calories. So what are you waiting for? Get these three spices and spice up your life. I think uh, somewhere in between he mentioned that uh, you can use this to burn belly fat. He, he also mentioned a lot of scientific terminology like you know this pepper uh, activates your re some receptor he mentioned. I, I think he's sprinkling a lot of science and sciencey sounding words to make his point sound more legit when he clearly doesn't know the basics of uh, fat loss. Anyone who is into fat loss, any dietitian, anyone who works out will tell you that you cannot spot reduce. That means you cannot reduce fat from a particular spot in your body. It may be belly fat, it may be uh, you know something in your chest or arms, you cannot spot reduce. So your body will uh, burn fat, fat from any part of the body, uh, it, it doesn't matter to it if it's from the belly. So. Uh, the only way to lose belly fat is to lose overall fat and that requires being in continuous caloric deficit. If you are in a caloric surplus, you will put on weight. If you are in a caloric deficit, you will lose weight. I have done this. I have learned this from experience. You can actually go to my Instagram and scroll all the way down. One of my pictures is a transformation pic where I lost a lot of weight. Basically, just think about have you ever seen someone with six pack abs who has fat on his arms, on his chest? No. You cannot have six pack abs unless you've lost fat everywhere in your body. Your belly is one of the last places the body burns fat from. So what he's saying is clearly wrong from, from the fundamentals. No matter how much science he adds on top, the fundamentals are clearly wrong. Let's watch another one. What's the best diet for you based on your body type? First, sagging belly fat. So if you have a sagging belly, mostly it's because of adrenal dysfunction. So you want to manage your cortisol better. How to do it? Read the caption. Okay. I think cortisol does play a role in uh, storing more fat, belly fat. But at the end of the day, you want to lose fat due to any reason being a caloric deficit. She's gonna talk about uh, liver fat also. Any kind of uh, visceral or uh, subcutaneous uh, that means internal fat or external fat, you want to burn it, you just have to be in a caloric deficit. That's not very easy to do, but consistent caloric deficit will lose any kind of fat. She has lost a lot of weight loss. I've seen a page and she does have a lot of weight loss, but she's giving crappy advice. 
Super common, pear-shaped body type. The reason, high estrogen levels in your body. Very common in women with PCOS. How to solve it? Read the caption. Everything, read the caption, read the caption. I'm reading the caption, bro. Like, I mean, you do need these micronutrients. You do need them, but they will not magically solve your fat issues. If you're in a caloric surplus, you will not get lean with, by just eating these nutrients. Be in a caloric deficit. You know, she mentions exercise only here. What about every other belly fat? There's no need of any exercise, I guess. Yeah, bro, this is really crappy advice that she's giving. Third. Pot belly, super common in men or people consuming more alcohol. The cause, liver dysfunction. To burn fat in this body type, caption. Fourth, rectangular shaped body type, where you don't gain body fat in one particular area, rather overall. Reason could be thyroid dysfunction. To make the functioning better, read the caption. Fifth, here you gain fat more on your upper body. Arms and shoulders will be thin, but you gain more fat in your upper body. This can be a sign that your pancreas are not working fine. Whatever is happening in your body, <clears throat> if you are not in a caloric deficit, nothing is going to happen. You're not going to lose weight. This complete absence of this one single idea, caloric surplus or deficit. I'm very suspicious of anyone who doesn't mention caloric deficit and talks about fat loss. Okay, how do you usually start your day? With uh, ghee. Uh, I have a spoon of ghee. I start my day with that I have. I have ghee or, or coconut oil in the morning. Ghee coffee in the morning, which is... That's ghee. Oh, uh, I have to have ghee with every meal. Chalo, let's understand this celebrity's obsession with this morning ghee. Film stars ki sari nutritional advice pe toh believe nahi kar sakte, par ye wali toh maanne layak hai. Ghee mein butyric acid paaya jata hai, jo ki aapke digestive system ko aur strong banata hai. Aur morning mein ghee insulin sensitivity ko bhi improve kata hai. Details ke liye caption par... This insulin sensitivity is a fat loss terminology. Like people say, improve your insulin sensitivity and you will lose fat. But nothing mentioned about caloric deficit. You need a caloric deficit to lose fat. Being a caloric deficit, I'll do a main channel video about this. That's coming on soon. But uh, yeah, just do a caloric deficit. Really ca crappy advice on fat loss. This is the last one that I'm watching. <laughs> know that chicken needs to be cooked right nobody eats raw chicken raw chicken will have all kinds of bacteria someone has even commented lol that's why you cook it but he doesn't show that the sample from the chicken is what he's using in that glass slide but okay there's bacteria on the glass but either way dude meat will have all kinds of microorganisms you have to cook it before you eat it. Eat raw meat that is a little old and you will get all kinds of bacteria in you. Yeah, dude. Uh, <clears throat> I think this is pure fear mongering is what it is. That's it. That's it for today's video, I guess. I'll see you in the next one.